This is something else. This is awesome. Man. Look at this. This is not a photo location. I don't know what is. and souvlaki uh, actually the land who invented democracy yes so now two hours two hours and a half until the hotel in Meliora hopefully it's gonna go smooth and I uh, will catch you later peace it's 11 o'clock on the dot and we made it I finally made it to Meteora. I can see hints of the <laughs> of the landscape here, but it looks very promising. I like the, the things that I see here, but tomorrow in the daylight we're gonna check it out and I bet you it's gonna be awesome. Good morning from another day of travel. You know that situation where you drive somewhere and it's night and then in the morning when you wake up you realize where you really are? Check this out. We're in Meteora, Greece, and it's beautiful here. Like, that's an understatement. Just awesome. We're going to get breakfast now, and then we're gonna go see the monasteries. But this area is fantastic. It's awesome. It's worth it to spend at least two nights here. The problem with breakfast is everything is closed now. It's 9 a.m. Yeah, it's 9.20 and uh, everything opens at like 11, 12, 1. But it's a nice, it's a night. Even if you go out and walk just in search of breakfast, which you're never gonna get, it's beautiful. Wow, look at this. Did you get it? They have? Okay, he found a breakfast place. Dude, this is so nice, man. I'm loving this. Which one is it? This one or? Okay. Olive tree. And just walking on the street, I can see a monastery on that cliff. Looks like it's an awesome breakfast. We didn't even have to order. We have just one type of a breakfast and we didn't get any menus. The guy just came with it and put it on the table and it's awesome. It's literally just winking at me. Let's go see Varlam Monastery here. Oh man, the parking is a problem here if you don't come early in the morning. But we managed to, to get lucky and we find a parking right at the entrance of the monastery. And I think we're gonna leave the car there and just walk around here. It's a lot of work to get up these stairs. But it comes with a phenomenal view. This is something else. This is awesome. Man. Look at this. Holy moly. It is so beautiful here. Unbelievable. I'm lost for words. And the photos that you can get from here. The photo ops are out of this world. Awesome. 
awesome, man. It's a bit of a traffic now. We were lucky to get here when we got here. This is not a monastery, but the view is awesome here. Yeah. You have a view with two monasteries. Check this out. You don't come here just for the monasteries, you come for the views also. We're going to that monastery now, but if there's a big line, we might skip the... Oh man, there is a big I, line. We can see the line from here. What do you think? We can walk a little bit more down th that way yeah, and should. then uh, see what views we can get from there. There is definitely a line over there. I just went to take a look on those stairs. But uh, I don't think it's worth it to wait. We're gonna go to the other monastery. The smaller one. The smaller one, yeah. From the looks of it, from what I see from here, there's not a lot of people on the, in the line. So we might get lucky and get inside without waiting too long. Everywhere you look, man, it's so beautiful here. Imagine if we would have came last night just to take some photos with the viewpoint here. From the viewpoint, I should say. Next time. Next time.